Is it too late now to say sorry? Cause I'm missing more than just your body So today I'm going to be coming at you with a hol another Halloween look. This is a reindeer inspired one. I try to make it wearable. You can like tone down the brown or something. Maybe it looks kind of hard too, but it's actually very simple. So yeah, I wish you guys could see my cute shirt, but it's really hard. You guys should definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My Instagram it, it, all the links are in the description box. But my Instagram is this. It's at jade.quesada. Here to see behind the scenes of maybe videos or like more into my personal life if you're even interested. And then this is my Twitter one. It's jadequesada underscore. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see how I got this reindeer inspired look, then just keep watching. So you guys know what I'm going to be using, the Neutrogena one. So to really have a, a bright under eye, like more than normal, I have been doing this trick to where I use red lipstick under my eyes. It's like a sal salmony shade. See? It's really pretty. It contracts, that's why you can see like there's concealer. The purple and dark circles under my eyes. And I use this one, so we're just gonna be taking this on the T-zone, or spit on spots where you get red. See, like, it makes you wear less foundation, too. And then I'm gonna be taking this lipstick to put under my under eyes. A little bit, though. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Mineral uh, Face Primer. I used this way back when. I'm just gonna be putting it on my bumpy areas, or where I wanna, like, smooth everything out. This helps to glide the foundation on really smooth. The Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless one. I love this one because it makes me look like flawless. Like it literally blurs out everything. You can just do your regular concealer if you don't like it as bright as I'm gonna put it right now. So now we're just going to be setting it. I'm actually going to be using like a white powder. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. There's like a mark on it. I really can't get it off for some reason. But Usually powders like this are translucent, but this one is like white. Okay, so I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and a soft brown. NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector DCC01 Fair Clear. Just this brush, it's in one of the old Naked palettes. Okay, so we're gonna be taking a pencil brush. So we're just be taking the original Naked Urban Decay, palette kid, and buck color. Okay, so we're just gonna be putting it right there. And we're putting it like this. I think I'm gonna be taking a more like edgy brush like this and making it like crisp. This is the Urban Decay Smoky palette. This is one of their new ones. And I'm gonna be taking this 13 shade. And this is a matte white color right there. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking the original uh, Urban Decay Smoky Palette and putting Virgin. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna be taking this NYX eyeliner, high definition liquid liner. It's like a marker, but it's in brown. Now we're going to be tracing out the triangle shape under our eye. This will act as a guideline for the actual brown liquid liner. Use this to like extend. I know the lines aren't perfect, just remember you can like touch it up or something. My trick would be bleh. my trick would be just making two lines that intersect and filling it in. That being said, here I'm just prepping for the false lashes to blend together. I'm going to be putting some like my thick long ones these are it's really gross packaging now but this is kiss flirty lashes and they're tapered at the end those are the lashes it's really gross to think first we're gonna be taking this a brown gel liner And for this part, I'm just cleaning up the sides of my nose with some concealer because it smeared everywhere. Also, the bottom of my nose because I didn't like it like that, but I actually think it looked okay, but do whatever you prefer. For this part, we're just highlighting the nose. NARS. Laguna and Orgasm. Now we're just going to be contouring. I'm just be taking mousse right there and blending it out. And I'm just going to be packing on the blush because I feel like the reindeers have like really, really, you know, prominent features or like, I don't know. I feel like it will just make the highlight come out more too. So this is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Baby Pink. My favorite um, all-time baby pink lip. This is Motives and it's in pink pearls, but it's so pretty. Gotta go and get angry at all of my honesty You know I try but I don't do too well with apologies